Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good out there. This is a general reading, Taurus, uh, but hopefully it resonates for the most part. And this is for Taurus and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to find out everything we can, Taurus, from spirit about your current situation that you find yourself in. Okay, yes, things are going in a positive direction. You may need to say yes to new things or a new idea or just yes to freedom, right? Peace. Um, when I see these doves, I do see a, um, you know, a divine energy that's being bestowed on you and showing you the way to stay uh, tranquil to stay peaceful. It's not always easy because we live on the we live on the planet Earth here, so there's a lot of energies going on. But you could be assured that something is going in a positive direction. Also, you are seeing signs from spirit, from your guardian angels, um, from your ancestors, loved ones on the other side. Whatever speaks to you, it is them. All right, what else for Taurus? creature of speed, <laughs> impending changes. You know, this whole thing about saying yes or going towards something positive, the momentum has already been built up. Now, some of you, you may have been embodying this creature of air, which is all about speed, right? It's all about moving with some type of truth, with some type of knowledge, knowing that you have all the right wisdom and intellect and logic to keep moving forward. Now, there may be a person here as well. They could embody air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. But we are coming up um, on a situation, Taurus, that you need to be prepared, prepared for. And what I mean by that is making a decision quickly and decisively without doubt and to, con and to continue to trust it. Let's get more to with this speed. What's important for Taurus to know about this speed? Wow. <laughs> you, you are being shown the way. And when I see the creature of air, I also see an angelic being here, mostly Archangel Michael that's coming through, who is the one that helps you stay alert, uh, a logic, <laughs> logical, or maybe detached emotionally when you need to, but most importantly, uh, protection, divine protection, removing obstacles or helping you remove obstacles that could get in the way of great progress of enlightenment of some type of positive exposure in life. So look at this, running towards the sun here, moving towards the sun. So sudden events can be happening here and you don't want to miss up or slip up, right? Not that you would, because I do see you being in a lot of control and power or being shown how to. So we have exposure. We have the sun card here, which is the griot being blissed. There may be something too where some of you, whatever you've been entertaining or whatever you've been putting out in the world, you know, your stories or whatever you're sharing wants to be seen or heard. And so we do have some type of audience here as well. Okay. But it isn't about, you know, having an audience, whatever, if that fits your scenario, then great. But mostly <laughs> we're feeling blessed because we are blissing out. We are having favor here because we're doing something right. So there's some type of speed and momentum. I mean, if you notice, there's like this vortex coming down. So we've got spirals of activation coming from the heavens above. What else for Taurus? It's like uh, hitting your destination as well. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. This creature of air is bringing, um, necessary changes. Some of you may have already gone through a pivotal change in your life. Maybe some type of chaos or disturbance, maybe perhaps things falling apart only to be built up in the right way. Now it doesn't necessarily mean things are, you know, tearing down. We could be, um, having great enlightenment, right? 
knowing and holding on to some type of truth here because it is your truth and it is supported by the divine here. So we've got the deviant, we've got the chaos and destruction. Choose logic over anything right now. Something has been or will be destroyed if it gets in your way. This is Archangel Michael, your angel, making sure we're not stepping into a place that could be false or... Um, not as long lasting as we'd like it to be. Let's see what this change is about because th th it's very significant with that creature of air and the uh, tower here. Let's get more about this um, change, this destruction. You're, you're being freed of something here. So some of you, you may have a quick change or a change is occurring here that's only helping you maintain a sense of creativity, uh, freedom to express that, freedom to do what you want, perhaps freedom in a relationship or finding yourself in a, in a relationship or relationships that do offer harmony, balance, and freedom, right? We have our own independence while, yes, enjoying one another, but there is something here that's going on where something has happened or something will happen to break you free. It's like you have all of these unique qualities about you with this creature of water. You're, you're not meant to stay, you know, bound in so, some type of, you know, this tower could represent like a structure or an institution or something that we may felt tied to or stuck inside of. And you're meant to roam free and express yourself here. So that's exactly what's happening. There's a gift here with some type of um, change when it comes to great freedom, you know, filling a universal love, a, a universal tie, stronger in your spirit, stronger in your relationships. Hmm, good. Someone, I, I do feel that someone, if they're not here yet, there's someone here too. Uh, they could embody uh, air or water sign or both that could be showing up on your path that really changes the course of your life here, seriously. And you just need to, you know, stay, uh, just know that, um, you know, you want to be very uh, strong-minded and you know, take care of your own emotional needs too, because you don't want to get the mind going crazy or the emotions going crazy because, you know, this is something that you're going to ease out of beautifully. Okay. What else for Taurus? See, this is, this is good change here. And I'm noticing the beautiful colors here on this creature of air. You can see the beautiful colors coming out with the creature of water as well. Uh, the change is necessary, right? It's not always roses and fairy dust and unicorns. It's never easy <laughs> going through, you know, transformations, upheavals, chaos in life, you know, all of that maybe what we see as a discord or a disorder, right? Out of chaos comes something beautiful out of chaos comes creation. So you can trust that where whatever is happening here, it is for the benefit of you, um, others too, that you may have been or will be involved with. So just continue to trust because just keep your eyes on this, where you're headed, the sun card, which <laughs> you want it actually. And speaking of, we don't have too many cards out because with this sun card, it will literally wipe out anything um, that is negative or override anything that is negative. So don't get caught up in too much of, you know, uh, worried about changes. Again, you've got this ability to, to use great discernment when it comes to making decisive, uh, great choices for yourself and your path. Some of you could be finding a, I would say tap into it if you haven't, uh, tap into, you know, something with the arts here or maybe creative writing or I don't know, something that maybe you're reading, okay, that's going to really help you stay focused on the tasks at hand that helps build your confidence and your faith. 
something that, you know, is coming from the divine too, right? Where you're getting inspired to create something or to move towards a different direction. You got to follow that. Yeah, you, your inner voice is really strong. So this creature of water and that creature of air is telling me that you've got all the right elements and components right now within your own soul self, right? To navigate yourself. That's what you're doing here. You're not letting any obst obstacles get in the way, but it is important to, you know, follow your heart, follow your inner voice. There's something that you do know. There is something that you have activated and you need to keep following that. Let's see a little bit more about your inner voice for Taurus. <clears throat> And just remember, this change is good. Yes, it is leading you to a very significant connection that is meant to be on your path, okay? Because we have to deal with people <laughs> in life. Um, now, take this if it resonates. Some of you, you may already... You may already be with maybe someone that you feel that you mirror in a healthy way. Uh, some of you, you are being blessed. You've been praying for a spiritual connection or some type of connection that you know is heaven sent, that is divine, that is a blessing here. So your inner voice is, is very important here. I want you to notice the um, heart here. It's leading you to a very significant spiritual union. The spiritual union will only bring out further blessings in your life. So you have been praying or you have been wishing for health, healing, um, or some type of connection that is very meaningful for you. Maybe you've been wanting to see signs. Continue to ask your angels, but your inner voice is guiding you because you are telepathically and spiritually connected here. Whether you, you know, see them, know them or whatever, but the most important thing is not looking on the outside because you are looking on the inner side here, but something is intertwining. <laughs> you know, I was getting this thing about this like vortex. There's some type of vortex going on here. So someone special is meant to be on your path and you can trust that this connection will only develop to higher levels of consciousness, of creativity, of love, of expansion, as long as you don't get scared of it, move away from it, nurture it. By the way, it's natural. It's a natural, uh, you know, it's just natural to want to um, stay devoted or committed to seeing something grow. What else? Yeah, we are making a decision here. Wow. So don't be afraid or don't feel stuck. Now, some of you, you might be in this place where you feel that you do need to make a decision or concentrate on a path. You know, do it without wasting any time. Don't give in to doubt, right? Making your decisions right now, right? Saying yes to things, right? You might, you might be saying no to things and to say yes to new things. But we do have this thing where, you know, your de decisions um, right now are important. So let's get more about make that decision and you're not doing it alone because something is being shown or exposed to you. Let's get more with make a decision. You could also just decide that you're going to listen to your inner voice, right? Over and over the outside noises or other people's influences or projections of what they think you should do. I told you Archangel Michael is here with you. This is, there's no joke. <laughs> oh my God. He's helping you make the best decisions. And it's going to come from a place where you're not feeling triggered. It's going to come from a place where you're not over emotional. It's going to come from a place where we have, you know, silent peace. We know exactly what we need to do. I told you Archangel Michael is one step ahead of you, making sure that you are feeling free to communicate the way that you need, to be assertive in um, areas that you need to be, and also logical, right? All right, keeping some emotions under control if need be, because you have been dealing with something negative. 
right? There's been like this negative energy or just an energy that's been so off-putting, but that's exactly what you're getting out of. That's exactly what Archangel Michael is helping you stay strong in the midst of some type of disturbance, chaos, or whatever. Now, if nothing has happened just yet, just know that there's going to be great epiphanies or um, something that's going to stir things up in the right direction. Okay, let's see. We got more air sign coming through. What else for Taurus? Choose freedom. And that's exactly what you've been doing, making a decision to continuously choose a path or actions or behaviors that give you the most room to be adventurous, to follow your instincts. You are a leader. A lot of you, you're, there's something about whatever you're doing that's really um, shining bright in the eyes of others, or it will, because this creature of fire is like literally, you know, trailblazing a path here. But also you've got this freedom to explore or to create or to share what it is that you want. And I do see someone that, you know, with the spiritual twin that's going to be offering, if they haven't already, you know, some type of adventure, right? A different way, a different path. So we have someone, which is also you, to, you know, um, that moves on instincts here. I want more too with this creature of fire. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through. Take care of yourself. That's all you got to do right now is really tend to, you know, your inner purpose, your inner passions, uh, t tending to self-care. I think I was mentioning that, you know, taking care of yourself, right? Um, cause it is important here. This is going to give you the path for freedom. Now also choose the path. If you're, you know, confused, that's going to help you take better care of yourself and say yes to that. Okay. What else? Oh yeah. Look, peaceful resolution. <laughs> everything is going to work out here. You know, there's Archangel Michael, that creature of air. There's a sense of, um, something that is staying within integrity here and some type of truth, maybe some type of adjustment for justice, right? A heavenly adjustment. Yes. I see us having a peaceful resolution. So no need to worry. Things really are going your way. You just got to continue to trust and believe that these changes is bringing you something very peaceful. Okay, your creativity, there's something strong about creativity right now or that you're tapping into. Um, so yeah, we've got something going on where, you know, your angels really are proud of you. Something about, you know, what you've done or what you've experienced and what you're, you know, projecting out into the world is something that spirit is saying, continue to do that or continue to see your life as a celebration here. Um, I even sense maybe Empress energy coming through. I know that card fell out. So we, obviously it's like, hello, talk. To, oh, look for a sign. <laughs> oh my God. Look. And it's like, we got those fireworks up in the, uh, uh in the sky there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Signs are showing you the way, helping you make a decision here. So continue to look for a sign for a sign, get creative too. Spirit is saying you've got this ability to be very creative in the ways that you, uh, you know, look for signs or maybe, uh, set your intentions out there to the heavens, to the angels. And then when it comes to any of you, not all of you, but some of you Taurus may feel a little blocked here when it comes to being creative or just feeling blocked about your path. Spirit is saying that's just a trick. Don't look on the surface. Look for a sign. You are really being heavenly uh, guided here. What else? So that you don't feel lost. We got the conjure woman manifestation. You're ready. <laughs> so there is something here where we are harnessing power, uh, gaining control. 
pay attention to anything too that might want to try to divide your energy into too many places because the secret to this manifestation card is not to be divided up into too many uh, places, right? Distractions. Something new is being birthed from you. So I would say just expect a new outcome. Uh, know that spirit is backing you up on resources, on knowledge, on people that need to show up on your path. Someone is literally could manifest right before your eyes too. So let's get more with the manifestation card here. Devotion, determination. And I was like hearing something too. Take it if it resonates, you know, resonates. Just look the other way if you need to and focus <laughs> because your devotion is where you're harnessing a lot of powers here. And you're becoming available for, you know, your guardian angels, for heaven, for God, Jesus universe to use you as this like conduit here to manifest a lot of good things, right? What, who, and what it is you need. So we may need to look up to the heavens and not just look at the surface of things, you know, to help make your decision, right? Because there's something about you staying devoted here because you are the one and, um, you know, to be able to manifest something here that is coming from a higher place. <clears throat> and it is something that you want as well. So we're staying devoted to our own power. We're not al allowing a situation or others either. I know it can be easier said than done at times, especially if we've gone through a crazy upheaval with that, that tower um, you know, to remain poised, to not allow our energies to be, you know, drained from us in too many directions, because you're getting ready to manifest something really powerful in your life. And when you're getting ready to manifest something that is heaven sent and powerful in your life, you need to be assured that there will be things that try to block that progress. But do you think heaven and your angels is going to allow that to happen? No, this is why you have the gift of discernment. You have the gift of some type of determination and drive and will to see through something here to get to the truth. What else? And I would be cautious of anyone that tries to, and I'm just going to put it out there, take it if it resonates. I would be cautious of anyone who's trying to I don't know, showboat or, you know, uh, I don't know, someone that you feel could be manipulating or um, all talk, no show, right? Because it, it's like they know that your energy is really good and it's like trying to suck some type of good energy out of you and Archangel Michael is not going to allow that to happen. Make sure, too, that you're communicating clearly, right? Right? because we have an opportunity that we can open up. I see that happening with this creature of air. We could be having, you know, a lot of back and forth um, communication at a fast pace here. So you may need to just kind of be aware of the words that we're speaking and we're using. But when it comes to some type of situation where I feel that you know in your heart that you deserve you know, to be able to share everything and anything that you want without feeling blocked, right? Or feeling that you have to hide something or worried if you're going to hurt someone's feelings. No, this is open, free communication because you're communicating not only through words. There's something going on here. Notice the mouths are closed here. You're communicating at subtle levels here. And that's a special bond. That's a special thing. Okay, what else for Taurus? If you hear that little whining, that's my kitten Lenny. <laughs> he wants to come in, but he's kind of getting at that age where he's just going all over the place. Okay, yes, we do have jealousy here. You know, there was this, there's negative energy around you. Archangel Michael is helping you stay strong here. You know, this is, you know, throughout lifetimes, right? There's always going to be negative emotions, negative energies at play. You just got to be cautious of it, not to get trapped or hooked into it because you do have 
a very huge blessing coming into your life. <laughs> so yeah, there may be some jealousy that could be surrounding you or watch out for others and, you know, just utilize compassion and, and understanding with them because you don't want to use fire with fire here. You're going to water that fire down. You're going to be in your own element here, unbothered, um, unhinged, right? You're not going to, you're not going to get into something here where, you know, someone wants to, loves to quarrel. Someone loves to fight. Someone likes to bring drama. And also if any of you Taurus, because not all of you, but if any of you Taurus feel like, you know, Hmm, maybe there's just something in your life that you feel is missing. And maybe you are perhaps kind of comparing yourself. Your time is coming here. And the thing about you is that your, your situation is not an ordinary one. This is why heaven and the angels are making sure that you're not following the path that makes you feel like you have to conform in a certain way that feels totally against your spirit. It's why it's important to follow your spirit, your own truths right now. Now, I do see something happening here. I kind of get five of wands. If, if there's anything going on, though, too, with like maybe team members, family members, maybe friends, maybe there's just some type of situation where we feel rivalry. <clears throat> just look away. Look at the uh, maybe just look away for the time being. There will be some type of peaceful resolution that happens here. And perhaps it is through this change. Right. So you've got to trust, too, that your angels in heaven have their own way of handling justice for you. What else? Yeah, look at that victory and success. <laughs> winner, winner, winner. So here you are focusing on your own successes, your own try, you know, triumphs over tribulations here because heaven is helping you. So nothing is going to stop you here, right? The momentum is already in place. It's almost like with you too, a uh, Taurus with like cancer, miracles are emotion. <laughs> They're emotion. All you got to do is take care of yourself and stay peaceful, regardless of other energies that are trying to maybe uh, get you to act or behave in a way that disrupts inner peace. I mean, look at this. <laughs> your time is coming here to feel really confident that things are and will go your way. And perhaps they already are, right? You just might be questioning things. Okay, what else for Taurus? Yeah, the end is near. Oh my God, good, good, good. Okay, so really important here. Whatever you've been dealing with, difficult people, struggle, maybe some suffering, it's ending. It's absolutely ending. You've had to go through a, a real tribulation here, right? I know, but you're coming out a winner here. Listen to that inner voice. Heaven is bringing you a good situation to feel united with. Whatever you've been dealing with that's been hard, it is coming to an end. And it's like you get to you know, collect all of your energy that may have been feeling like it's been pulled in too many directions and, and, uh, retracting it back for your better use here. What else? If an opportunity, I'm just putting it out there. I'm hearing an airplane actually too, right now, as we're speaking, <laughs> If, if you, if you get a chance to travel, do it. Okay. Say yes to it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We've got the right things that are un unlocking your, your heart here. And it's not just one thing. It's not just one relationship. There's multiple things that are going on here. That's going to make your heart happy. So we've got the right uh, situation when it comes to your love life, you know, give it up to the heavens or it could just be your, you know, just love in general, right? Because maybe it's been hard to be in this place of love because we've had to deal with, you know, negative people, negative situations, um, protecting our own heart, protecting our own energy. But something is going to unlock your heart if it hasn't already. And I would say just keep going with it. You don't want to close your heart off. <laughs> the reason why is if you close your heart off, you're going to have a hard time hearing your inner voice. So we want to keep that space 
clear of debris, right? Clear of harboring hurt, resentment, pain, right? Misunderstandings, other people's negative projections because they obviously need to go through some lessons to learn some things. And that's between heaven and that person or those people. You're going to get a gift of love here. What else? Okay, that's it actually. So Taurus, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you that you need to be aware of. I do see a lot of you are, somehow you are being noticed for something here in a positive light. Spirit's helping you with your choice. <laughs> that you do have a choice. You might be, some of you could be beating yourself up though. Like, oh my gosh, I feel that you're maybe going back and forth here, but spirit is letting you know that whatever you choose is the right one. Cause some of you might be battling again, maybe societal norms, maybe something with religion, maybe something with family, you know, something that maybe other, maybe it's good for another, but you're with you. You're like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> That's what you got to listen to, your inner voice. Let's get more to with um, you have a choice for how spirit's helping you. It's like feel what you want to feel. Do what you want to do. Yes, choose that new direction. So spirit is helping you with a choice in a, a good, a new direction or to stay on a new direction if you already feel that you've been on a new direction and not get distracted. You know, you're going to be achieving an important goal here or goals, all right? And I do see that spirit is making you very strong um, and more capable of handling things than you realize because whether you realize it or not, you do have or you are trailblazing a path for maybe others to follow or be inspired by. Archangel Michael, <laughs> removing obstacles that may try to get on your path here. Let's find out a positive that is coming towards you that you can look forward to. Uh, before we end the reading for you, Taurus, a positive for Taurus to look forward to. Time, time is your friend. See, time is going to explain something here, right? You got a peaceful resolution, feeling that you have more time. Perhaps we've been battling with time or years or age, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, what you have to look forward to is having enough time, gaining lost time. Let's get one more. Oh, we got love. <laughs> All the time you need to experience love in many forms or however form it's showing up in your life because it's between you, your higher self and heaven. But we do have love, enough time for this. Ooh, this is why when you take care of yourself, you're automatically starting that, um, you know, that vortex or strengthening the spirals of manifestation stronger and stronger, right? And attracting love in all kinds of forms. All right, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful for you. Love and light. Take care.